I ditched living out of my SUV to come live on this sailboat. And as you can see, we are not parked on a dock. So how did I get here? The dinghy. And who drove the dinghy? Me. But we'll get into that later. Let's do a boat tour. Starting in the back of the boat, you got two kayaks, a grill, the dinghy, then you have a ladder to step on, and you have this nice, lovely bench. This side does have bird poop, but it doesn't matter because I'm a party of one, so I can just use this side. And right here we have the wheel, so I guess you could say I'm the captain. Not really, because I'm not driving this, but I am the captain of the dinghy, so. Come down into here. We have a lovely welcome aboard mat. My stuff. My stuff. You step down, you're obviously in the main attraction. This is technically a really small bed and that could technically be a really small bed. We have a nice bench with a table. This is a basket. I need to read this. Looks like there's some games in there. This is what this side looks like. Super cute. I love. There is a cooler. I just brought mine because it's already filled with stuff. It's just easier. Got some water, a nice sink. Then we have these lovely shelves. We got pots, pans, cutting board. <gasps> Christmas and summer, because Christmas is all year around. And then we got plates and cups and seasonings. Paper towel, fresh coffee. And in here, silverware, light and wrap, trash can, and then propane and a stove which I will be using. Fan, which will come in handy. And this opens up to the bathroom. We got a toilet. And then there's two little shelves right there. And then you have the nice little bed shelves, an extra blanket. She also has a power bank. Before I left, she said the SUB port wasn't working, so she has a power bank. But I brought my power bank because if any of my camera stuff was gonna die, I just wanted to be on the safe side and have something. It's so cute and cozy. So that's basically my cute little humble boat. But let's go to the front of the boat. And we're gonna go through this little hole because why not? This is just literally insane. So from the hatch, you have a bean bag at the front of the boat. This is incredible. It's insane. So beautiful. The front of the boat, looking to the back of the boat. And over there is Rodriguez Keys. That side, Key Largo. Other sailboats. On this side, you have the two paddles for the kayaks. We're gonna go for a swim in a minute, but let me catch you up with how I got here. And I should probably read the guest manual first so I know how everything works. Oh, so cute. Congratulations. If you're reading this, you made it. I made it. <laughs> Before I get into anything else, I just want to say thanks to Isadora, which is such a pretty name, letting me stay on this boat. Okay, let me read this real quick and then we'll be right back. I love that there's a scan to see a visual on how the toilet works. I'm a visual learner, so let's listen about the toilet. This is luxury, by the way. Look how cute this is. I'm gonna sit and read these later, and I'm also gonna write, well, is there even pages? Oh, there is pages. So me, planning last minute. Yes, me, planning last minute. I never have a plan. What do I always end my videos with? I have no idea what I'm doing. That's why you should follow me. Hit that subscribe button, because who knows? Where will I be next? I, I don't even know. I'm currently in Key Largo, and my original plan was to get a campground in Key Largo, and then make my way down to Key West and stay at campgrounds. Every single campground, I kid you not, booked out to the end of July, beginning of August. And when I called, cause I was like, there, there's no way, there's no way. Sure enough, they're all booked out. But the guy was like, oh, someone just canceled right now. Oh wait, someone's already grabbing it. Cause you can do like a notify me. I was like, oh, cool. And then I was like, you know what Haley? Do something fun and something out of my comfort zone, which if you know me, I am, I'm not afraid of water. I'm afraid of drowning. It's my biggest fear. And the ocean does terrify me a little bit. Not a lot of it. I think being alone a lot more if I were to be with someone. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is crazy because I came out here by myself. Granted, I'm not deep into the ocean, but for me, this is a big step. So when I found this listing, I knew I needed to do it. And I looked at the weather. It showed wind for the majority of the week. And I was like, cool, what's, what's new? But whatever, let's book it. I booked this a few days prior because again, last minute. And then the wind starts going away. But what day does it stay on? The day that I'm supposed to get to the boat. Isadora is amazing and so accommodating. He gave me a call and was like, hey, it's supposed to be really windy today. Do you want to reschedule? You know what? Let's do it. But me, because I actually planned once in my life, I had another Airbnb that I was supposed to be at today. But I wanted this experience to be that great. So I was like, whatever, I'll figure that out with the other Airbnb. So I ended up coming today. It's still a little windy, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. But since I need to get a little rundown how the dinghy works, she's like, if you can still come today so I can show you the dinghy. So I showed up at her house yesterday, gave me a rundown on the dinghy. And when I tell you, I did a horrible job. I was so nervous for how the dinghy was going to work today because I would have rated myself a 5.5 out of 10. I mean, she said I was fine, but deep down, I feel like I was rated a 5.5. So when I showed up today, I was mentally prepared. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do the darn thing. It went a lot better than I thought. I just had to get out of the little canal. I took my time getting out of the canal. It's supposed to be about 10 minute dinghy ride. It took me 20 minutes. I would also speed up, then slow back down. I just practiced in the canal, so I had no idea what to expect. It feels a lot better when you're out in the open ocean. You don't really have to worry about hitting anything. I'm proud of myself because I made it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna kayak yet, just because it is windy and I'm not that strong in my arms anymore as I once used to be, just because of having shoulder surgery when I was 20 and I'm almost 28. You would think my strength in my arm would be back, but it's not. Since it is slightly windy, I don't want to get stuck out there. Who knows? We'll see. And now I think it's the perfect time to go into a montage. insane i'm up like what is my life are you kidding me i need to start picking up but i think i'm gonna change first the pajama shirt on also i think this one turns on but that's gonna ruin i need to read this again i also want to show you the little christmas lights slight issues with the sink but I just used the water in my water bottle and I have another water in my cooler but I'm confused about the switch underneath I'm texting her to let her know because I don't want to pull this lever too hard and break something but as I was typing out this text I come outside and look at the moon right now camera battery died but it's okay I have a second one I could see this like fiery and I go is that gonna be the moon sure enough I saw the first little bit and now it's fully up well not fully up but it's getting more and look orange and I can see all the clouds outlined that's insane Okay, I need to send this. I am so dumb. I'm sitting here, right? I'm thinking underneath the sink because in the book, it says pull the switch that's below the sink. Turn off when done using. My head, I'm thinking underneath the sink. I'm pulling this yellow lever. She texted me back saying, no, not the yellow, it's the knob. 
I'm literally sitting on the ground like, am I an idiot? Like, where is this? Like, I don't see a knob. I don't see a switch. It is right. Do you see it? It is right there. Oh, <laughs> and then I just pull. Oh my gosh. I just sat for a few minutes up at the front of the boat. I love that little spot. Just looked at the moon. The stars are starting to really come out. There's a good little breeze. Kind of gets a little chilly. I had to bring dessert, so I got macaroons. My ice in my cooler started to melt. Two of them I won't be able to eat, which sucks because one of them is the chocolate one, and I love chocolate. In the cooler, I had it this way, and so the chocolate and the raspberry was in the water. I didn't really think that through. This has a lot of flavor. I usually don't like jam type fillings, but this is good. This one's pretty dang good too. No, no, chocolate and raspberry is pretty tied. Oh, I only have one of each of those. I mean, yeah, that is just soggy. That is just straight sogginess. That was pretty dang good. Thanks for joining me on my little macaroon taste test oh my gosh it is so wavy <laughs> i was reading the guest book and then i just decided to look at the time and it's 11. i wanted to go to bed around 10 10 30 just because i want to be up before first light so i can catch the sunrise i went outside to turn off the christmas lights and then i came back inside brushed my teeth took out my contacts and now i am going to bed i'll see you in the morning just a second ago we're good though i feel like when you look at it when you sit yeah you can't sit and look that's one thing i've learned like if you sit and look and watch it moving nope take your focus off of that then you're good but sometimes it's hard to take your focus off of it I definitely could see how people get sea legs now, and I'm only out here for a day. I think that's what they call it. This is a fun fact about me. As much as I'm terrified of the water, swimming-wise, kind of like the deep ocean, just because it's so undiscovered, there was a point where I actually started to get into the certification process to become a deckhand for yachts. There's just so much to it, and then you're not guaranteed, and I just don't know that world. I don't know people in that world. Yeah, but I don't know how I'd be able to do it like man I went to the front of the boat and I just wrote inside of here because of course I had to add um, To it. I mean, I personally like reading these things Hopefully on the boat ride back. I get to see a dolphin. That's the one thing that I will say though Yesterday when I was up at the front of the boat, I heard a giant splash. I was like, it's a dolphin jumping up I'm like do it again. Do it again. I was like nope. So I have no idea what it was I literally, there's sometimes where I'm just like, I wish I was recording because I just, it's like, this is so fun. I'm so sad to leave. Just rinsed out my hair and I rinsed my legs. I should have done that last night. Well, not the hair, but my body last night. It's fine. I did clean up my hair a little bit. It was getting pretty knotted, but we're good to go. I need to just brush it out. I need to leave in a few minutes. This is my outfit for today. I don't know if you can fully see me, but I'm going to start loading up the dinghy and then taking off. But I do want to share this story before I go. I was impressed with myself on the dinghy ride but the second I got to the sailboat I was coming close to the kayaks and I didn't want to get I was trying to steer away but I for some reason the wind I just couldn't I couldn't in time I went to put the dinghy in reverse and it shot the motor up but it was still slightly in the water I was like uh oh I ended up getting away from the rope I parked the dinghy and I was like I'll get to it later let me just unload everything and after I unloaded everything and then I jumped in the water I wanted to go to that abandoned sailboat I was about to call Isadora to tell me how to move the motor down because I was watching videos on YouTube and I couldn't figure it out so then I saw this fishing boat coming by from a distance you could see them waving hey how are you so then I was like you know what I'm just gonna ask them and it was two couples and once I got here I did the reverse thing I was like spoke too soon I was like I'm doing great and 
they stepped in and helped right away and tried to explain it to me but it wasn't going they got closer to me and the guy was like leaning over and he was like what the heck but he ended up getting it so I was like sweet but that was my little dinghy experience I'm going to end the video here I just want to say if you're watching this right now I appreciate you so much for being here and joining me on this journey I'm gonna throw up I think we're good we're good what am I doing